Hey guys, welcome back. This week I'm starting my Vox series. I originally started with how to do the Vox map, which a lot of you quite enjoyed, which is in the description below. But this week I'm going to show you how they do the highlighting effect on a book. Okay, first thing we're going to do is click on new comp 1920 by 1080p, 25 frames per second, and click OK. From there, drag and drop the piece of text that you want to highlight. Uh, mine's a bit big, so hit S on the on the keyboard to bring down the scale uh, roughly around there I'm going to move this up a bit perfect okay from there right click if it lets me right click new solid now this is the important part it'll take the composition settings but I don't want it to be black. I actually want the highlight to be yellow, like that color, like a highlighter and hit OK. Now I'm just going to turn this off because I don't want to see it, but I do need to use it. Make sure the yellow solid is still highlighted. But very quickly, if you're new around here, I make videos every Monday at 3 p.m. So please hit a subscribe. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Anyway, back into the tutorial. In the effects and presets panel, type stroke and drag and drop stroke onto this solid layer. From there, grab the pen tool and start highlighting the section that you want highlighted. Make sure, let me zoom in, make sure that your highlight isn't in a straight line because if you were highlighting naturally, you wouldn't get a perfect straight line. Once you've done the first line, click V on the keyboard or the selection tool here and click off. Again, click G on the keyboard for the pen tool and start highlighting your next row. Oh. And don't forget to not do a straight line. Again, V and G. I'm going to end on the word collapse. Perfect. In the stroke settings, click on all masks. This will make sure the effect works on all masks. Um, oh, I forgot to turn the solid layer back on. Bro. Most important thing here, make sure stroke subsequential is selected as it'll show the highlighting effect in order of which mask you did first. Then, right at the bottom, change on original in paint style to on, tran not on reveal, on transparent. Yep. Now that will reveal the text and take away the yellow solid color. Don't worry. What next thing to do is bring back the yellow color. So click on this uh, pick a tool and go down to this yellow and bring back the yellow. Okay, you still can't see it. Don't worry. We're going to increase the brush size a little until you can see it. There you go. If I zoom in, we're going to go to a size that will cover what you were doing. Perfect. So that would be roughly how you would highlight a piece of paper. Zoom in a little, scroll up, and I'm just going to increase the harshness, or hard, I'm going to just increase the hardness, brush hardness, just to make it look more like a highlighter. Mm, yeah, let's do 100%. Okay, now that looks really good, but you can't really see the text underneath it. So we're going to go to modes, and if you can't see it, press this little toggle switch mode here underneath. Then click on this mode and scroll down to multiply. Now that not only reveals the text underneath, but brings through some of the texture on the page. So it actually looks like it's part of it. Now the only thing we have left to do is animate the highlighter coming on and off. Make sure your playhead's at the beginning. Click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe for the end in stroke and change the 100% right down to zero. Then go a few frames in and increase that highlighter so it's the first line. Then again, another few frames in to do the second line. And then another few frames in, not as long because the sentence isn't as long on this one. And bring it up to 100%. So if I hit play, let me turn this toggle mask switch off just so we can get rid of the mask and let me
we hit play that's a bit fast so if you hit you on the keyboard I'm going to increase these keyframes the spacing between these keyframes hit play perfect okay just want to right click highlight all the keyframes right click assistant keyframes keyframe assistant rather and easy ease them just so they they flow a bit better okay now this looks really good but i kind of want it to have an angle and look like a camera is going in so we're only also focusing on that text and blur out the the text around it and there's the stuff the noise around it have some sort of depth perception so to do this i'm going to highlight both these layers right click and select pre-comp and i'm going to name it text okay then i'm going to right click new camera which will bring up this pop-up window i'm going to change the camera to 35 millimeters and hit okay if this window pops up just hit okay again it's just saying you're actually in 2d space and for camera you need 3d so okay now that we have a camera we need to change the text layer from 2d space into 3d so to do that you click on the toggle switch modes if you can't see it and see this uh, cube shape here if you click on that that places the text into 3d space and we're going to rotate this a little I hate rotating because I'm never good at it at all for some reason my brain won't work in 3d but anyway we're going to drop it down let me zoom out so I can see what I'm doing. Rotate it a little, not that way. Like that. And then I can scale it up. Position it up a little. Maybe move across. So let's see, does that work? Okay, that works, but I need to scale it back a little. Let's move it up. And then scale it up a little bit more because we're getting black outlines here and here. Still got a tiny bit there. So if it's one for four. Bring it down maybe. Oops, perfect. Bro. Now that we have that, so it kind of it's already starting looking a bit cool. Now I just want the camera to focus on this and anything around it, I want depth perception to be there. So it essentially blurs out these edges here and you only focus on the highlighted bit okay so to do that i'm going to close this text and open the camera's uh, options now first thing i'm going to do is change depth of field from off to on nothing happened so far but to make to put in the depth of field if we change this aperture you can start you can start to see the text is blurring so if we do that but then it's kind of starting to blur these bottom lines here and I don't want it to do that so to change that change the focal distance so you can bring it down or up to exactly where you want maybe I'll bring down the aperture a little 
there we go so the bottom is blurred the top is blurred and the bit i want is actually clear so one thing i'd want to do is add a bit of a camera move because this looks good but it's a bit static so move your playhead to the end and click on the stopwatch for position now this is the end position i want it to end to end in so go back to the beginning of the timeline and uh, move move any way which way that you'd like So when it does start moving, the camera moves it and gives it a bit of more depth to it as if you're actually reading the page. And that's it. You're done. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. This is part of a Vox series that I'll be making. So I'll be making two more to complete a whole series, making four in total. Smash the like button if you got this far and enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button to not miss anything. And I really appreciate your support, guys. And as always, stay inspired.